understand that they just passed uh, SB 469 at 8 o'clock this morning. Now, what's your next plan here? Well, we're going to continue to ask uh, our members and uh, our coalition partners to reach out to those representatives uh, that have uh, a piece in the decision. Uh, we're going to ask them to, of course, uh, try to either kill the bill or just not let it come out of the committees. Uh, the reality is this is a bill that's uh, unconstitutional, unnecessary, does, does nothing to create jobs in this state, and uh, we think our, our, our state capital should be working about putting Georgians back to work, not pick, putting people in jail uh, for picketing. Well, uh, do you foresee any uh, nonviolent civil disobedience on the uh, horizon? I, I, you know, I'm, I'm not going to be uh, uh, a predictor. I'm, I'm going to say that there's a lot of people that are certainly upset uh, that they feel that their constitutional rights are being taken away. I would not be surprised, but uh, we certainly haven't called for it yet. Uh, but uh, it was like uh, what I was asked in the hearing. Uh, why? so against picketing an individual's uh, home and my response was that I don't traditionally or normally picket an individual's home, a business CEO's home. But am I totally against it? No, I'm not. Uh, we have corporate America driving this country and certainly this state, making the laws, uh, doing so much to the everyday worker. Uh, I think it's going to take some civil disobedience somewhere down this road, uh, but I'm not ready to predict that right now. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Okay.